river of molten lava surged through the craters of Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcanoes. The crack that woke the mountain. High above the ancient villages of Sicily, where vineyards cling to black volcanic soils and the air smells faintly of sulfur, Mount Etna has opened a wound. It did not happen with a bang, but with a deep, splitting sound that locals compared to a thunderclap trapped underground. A massive crack, jagged and spreading like a lightning bolt across the slope, has torn open the flank of the volcano. The fissure is several meters wide and hundreds of meters long, slicing through old lava fields and volcanic ash. From its depths, something terrifying and mesmerizing is glowing. Magma, alive, moving, rising. Molten rock pulses behind the fracture walls like blood under torn skin. At night, the light shines through the gaps, painting the snow-capped summit in sinister red. Steam curls upward from the opening. Along with volcanic gases, no one dares inhale. Scientists have seen cracks at Etna before, but not like this one. The volcano that never sleeps. Mount Etna is the most active volcano in Europe and one of the oldest still growing. Over hundreds of thousands of years, it has rebuilt itself through countless eruptions. But recently, activity has begun to change in ways that worry experts. The new fissure didn't appear alone. For weeks before its opening, seismic instruments detected hundreds of microquakes, shallow and clustered, long period volcanic tremors, indicating magma movement, slow inflation of the southeastern flank, CO2 and SO2 gas spikes detected at monitoring stations. Then came the split. Geologists on the ground have measured heat radiating from the fissure at temperatures well over 900 degrees C. Thermal. Drones picked up ribbon-like. Channels of magma sliding laterally beneath the crack, suggesting a dike intrusion. A sideways push of magma carving new subterranean pathways. Lava is not yet pouring out in full eruption, but it is visibly creeping. Inside the mountains, open scar. Is this just normal Etna or something else? Etna has erupted through flank fissures before. In fact, much of its evolution has come from side vent eruptions, not just the central crater. But this time, Scientists are noticing three deeply concerning signs. One, the crack is not passive, it is widening. Earth deformation sensors show movement along the fissure at millimeters to centimeters per day, suggesting the mountain is physically pulling apart. Some researchers believe the entire southeastern flank, a known weak zone, may be slipping. Two, the magma is rising from a deeper source than usual. Seismic tomography has traced the magma movement to reservoirs lying 10, 10 to 16 kilometers deep. Deeper than many of Etna's typical eruptive episodes. This suggests a fresh recharge of the plumbing system. Three, there are signs of structural destabilization. 
Satellites have captured a slow outward bulge on the side of the volcano. You're facing the Ionian Sea. This hints that Etna's flank may be creeping and that the crack could be a tear line in motion. Could a flank collapse happen? Etna has a history of shearing itself apart. The eastern and southeastern flanks are slowly sliding toward the sea, in some areas by several centimeters per year. If a large enough portion collapses, the consequences could be catastrophic. A massive landslide. Rapid depressurization of magma chambers. A chain-triggered eruption. A potential tsunami in the Ionian Sea. Geophysicists have warned that large-scale flank collapses have occurred on volcanoes like Stromboli, Fogo, and even prehistoric Etna itself. The crack opening along a structurally weak zone is exactly the kind of early symptom researchers model in collapse simulations. What about a super volcano? This is the question people whisper when they see the glow from the fissure. Is there a super volcano under Etna? The answer is layered. Etna is not classified as a supervolcano like Yellowstone or Toba. But Etna's magma supply is immense and its plumbing connects to deep mantle sources feeding large reservoirs. Recent studies using seismic imaging have revealed that beneath Etna lie multiple stacked magma chambers a radial dike system, long period melt zones extending deep into the crust. Some volcanologists suggest that Etna behaves like a polygenetic giant, not quite a supervolcano, but much more complex and powerful than a typical stratovolcano. The new crack, tapping deeper magma, hints at pressure building farther below than expected. If this deep reservoir were to destabilize or rapidly decompress, such as through a sudden flank collapse, it could unleash an eruption far beyond. 